Hello, here we introduce the upcoming NPTEL course on solid state physics. I am the instructor of the course Nirmal Ganguly. I belong to the Department of Physics, Iser Bhopal. Let's introduce the institute first. The institute that is Iser Bhopal was established in the year 2008. It comprises three streams. The first is natural sciences stream, including biological sciences, chemistry, earth and environmental sciences, mathematics and physics. The second is engineering sciences stream comprising chemical engineering, data sciences and engineering and electrical engineering and computer science. The third is humanities and social science stream where the departments are economic sciences and humanities and social sciences. Then we introduce the instructor that is myself. I am Nirmal Ganguly. The email ID is given here. My in research interest includes theoretical and computational condensed matter physics. I am particularly interested in magnetic properties, spin orbit interactions and nanomaterials, also heterostructures of various interesting materials and the interface phenomenon. I did my master's and PhD from IIT Bombay and uh, then subsequently moved for postdoc research at University of Twente, the Netherlands and Max Planck Institute of Solid State Research in Germany. Then in the year 2016, I joined the Department of Physics at Iser Bhopal as an assistant professor. The courses that I offered at Iser Bhopal include electromagnetism, electrodynamics and special relativity. Numerical methods and programming, condensed matter physics, electronic structure of materials, advanced quantum mechanics, and I also contributed other courses on NPTEL that is electromagnetism and this course on solid state physics is being contributed. Why would one learn solid state physics? That's the first question we must ask in our discussion for the introduction of solid state physics. The major reason for studying solid state physics is that the technology that we are using these days are mainly based on solid materials and also the progress that is happening in technology is based on solid materials. So in order to understand that technology and further develop the technology, we need to understand solid state physics. This brings us to the conclusion that there is plenty of scope for future research and development in this area. Therefore solid state physics can lead to the development of technology. Further, it is integral part of the curriculum of physics and material science in every university. Also various engineering disciplines use it. So the intended audience for this course would be BSc third year and MSc first year physics program students and also students from engineering programs. And this course would be useful for national level exams like GATE, NET, GEST, etc. This is a 8 week course and at the end of each week we will have assignments. At the end of the course we will have a final exam. The content of this course that we must discuss now. Is the first module out of 7 modules is the structure of solids that includes symmetry, gravel lattice, unit cell, Miller indices, simple crystal structure, reciprocal lattice, Lowe equations and Bragg's law, Brillouin zones, diffraction of X-rays, atomic scattering and structure factors. So this gives us an understanding of the structure of solid as well as how experiment determines the structure. Then comes the second module that is binding in solids. Here we discuss the bonding in solids, various kind of bondings, van der Waals and repulsive interaction, Leonard Jones potential, the cohesive energy and compressibility, ionic crystals, Madelung constant, covalent crystals, metals, atomic and ionic radii. This is all we discuss and understand what makes the solids stay together. Then the elementary transport properties of electron in solids that we discuss. We begin with the Drude theory for metals. Here we discuss the DC electrical conductivity of a metal, Hall effect and magnetoresistance, AC electrical conductivity of a metal and propagation of electromagnetic radiation in a metal, thermal conductivity. The, then we move on to Sommerfeld theory of metals. Here 
After reviewing the Drude results, we learn about density of states, Fermi Dirac distribution, specific heat, thermal and electrical conductivity of degenerate electron gases. After this, we move on to the electronic structure. We begin with the free electron theory. Then we move on to chronic penny model, crystal lattices, the electrons under periodic potential, band theory, tight binding model, classification of metals, insulators and semiconductors, and also symmetry of energy bands, density of states and Fermi surfaces that we discuss here. Next, we move on to fifth module that is vibrations and phonons. Vibrations of one dimensional monoatomic and diatomic chain we first discuss subsequently normal modes and phonons. Uh, phonon spectrum, long wavelength acoustic phonons and uh, elastic constants. Specific heat capacity, we then discuss the density of states of phonon. Thermal expansion and conductivity, we discuss acoustic and optical phonons. Then we move on to magnetism where we discuss diamagnetism, paramagnetism and ferromagnetism. Origin of magnetism is, is something very curious that we discuss. Then Langevin theory of paramagnetism and waste molecular theory. Then comes the final module that is superconductivity. Here we first discuss the phenomenological description. Then we go for BCS theory, thermodynamics, London equation. Type 1 and type 2 superconductors we discuss, flux quantization, electron tunneling and Josephson effect. So this is the content of this course. I look forward to meeting you during the course. Thank you for your interest in the course.